Good morning, welcome to Life Kids Online. I'm Tita Angel. I'm Carissa Tizia. Let's start our service today with a word of prayer. God, I lift my hands to you. Speak to me so that I may learn more about you today. Let me see your hands working in me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, let's have our worship team to lead us in a time of praise and worship. gave his lunch. Hmm. And you can read all about him from John chapter 6 verses 1 to 15. And the key verse for today is from Ephesians 3 verses 20. And it goes like this. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power, that is at work within us. Amen. Last year, we learned a total of 43 minor Bible characters who were seemingly insignificant. Today, we're going to look into a story that we often hear about, the feeding of five thousands. In this story, we often hear about Jesus, the crowd, the five loaves and two fish, or even the disciples. Remember that story? Uh-huh, that's the one. However, we tend to neglect one central character, without who there will be no story at all. Mm -hmm. Who was it? This story is about a boy who nobody notices among the big, big crowd. In his lunchbox, uh-huh, he was carrying what would not what would be not only the provision for the moment, but what would become 
the symbols of the most significant message that Jesus has ever preached, and that is giving. This boy selflessly gave up his lunchbox to Jesus. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what did Jesus do? Jesus, by his power, multiplied that one lunchbox from the boy to feed five thousands and even more. It was recorded in the Bible. Interesting and so cool, right? Who would have known that Christ would do, could do that impossible through this one boy in the middle of a very, 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 very big crowd? We never know which little person God will use and how. God, can, God had chosen that special day to choose this boy to be that significant part of the message that lasted not only for that day, uh, listen to this, but up until today. Amen. This message then became the start of Christ's redemptive plan. This boy never received glory. Mm. But giving up his lunchbox that day had a bigger and more lasting impact than he could ever and have been able to understand. Amen. There is only one key point and that is God can use you. Sometimes we think that we are too young for big things or maybe we think that big things are only for the adults or the older people. But the truth is, children, we just never know what God will ask of us. We never know when he will ask it. We never know ahead of time what will happen or what he will do. We never know how the Lord will redeem our little things, our little bit and pieces, and use them to give grace to the hungry. That is just how God works. And amen to that. And all we have to do is just to avail ourselves to love Him and to put Him first. Amen? Amen. Today, we'll be doing a craft on the boy who gave up his lunch. So, this young boy had only so little food for his lunch, and he selflessly gave it to Jesus so that he could multiply it and feed it to 5,000 people. Because of his generosity, Jesus was able to multiply and feed so many people. So, for today's craft, you need one A4 paper, Pencil, ruler, scissors, and color pencils. So let's start. Take your A4 paper and fold it three times horizontally. So one, two, three. Now unfold it and flip it vertically and fold it eight times. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now unfold it. Take your pencil and your ruler and draw six lines. Now, take your pencil and draw in five loaves and two fish. Now, repeat for all of the rows. After drawing for each column, we have something like this. So, take your scissors and cut along the strips. Fold 
the columns in a zigzag motion following the creases of the line that you make. So you end up having something like this. So now you can tell the story of how Jesus took the food and multiplied it. And that will be the craft of today. Family activity moments for the older kids. Here are the discussion questions for you. Number one, the boy had five loaves and two fish. What do you have that God can use? And number two, make a list of impossible things in your life that you want to surrender or give to Jesus and pray daily over your list. The list might include the name of a person who needs to believe Jesus as their Lord and Savior, or a dream to do something for God and His kingdom. Enjoy your discussion with your daddy and mommy and your siblings as well. We've come to the end of our service. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Now let's close in a word of prayer. Let's put our hands together, close our eyes and bow our heads and let's pray. Amen. Dear God, as a step into this new year, learning more about you. Use me even when I'm little. Help me to be prepared and to be watchful in knowing that at any time, any time, Lord, you can use me for your great miracles and your kingdom purposes. In Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. So, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. See you later.